All right, folks, I'm going to show you around my room here at the uh, Nana Hotel. It's right across from Nana Plaza in Bangkok, Thailand. And this is one of the renovated rooms. And so I booked this room on Agoda, and if you read the reviews on Agoda, people will talk about they're in the middle of a renovation. So some of the rooms are renovated and new, and some of the rooms are still the old rooms. This is one of the renovated rooms, so I'm going to show you around. I've got a chain on the door, peephole. Got a good solid door. And right here is the uh, Hong Nam or the restroom. Newly renovated. Do got some toiletries and everything here. And you can tell that phone came from one of the old rooms. And this is an older hotel, folks. I don't know how long it's been here. I stayed here a long time ago. But, uh, you know, the hotel itself is an older building. But look at this. It's a, it's a brand new renovated room right here. Even got a hair dryer hanging on the wall. You got a safe in here. Plenty of hangers to hang your stuff up right there. And you do have a refrigerator. They do provide free free bottled water. It's not stocked with booze or anything like that. It's probably a good thing. Nice place to put your suitcase. And what is that? King size? Well, in this room right here, I got a I got a king size bed. And you got a couple uh little nightstands. Nice little relaxation couch over there. And brand new flat screen TV hanging on the wall. And an awesome little desk area with two plugs over there to plug in your laptop. Got this huge mirror here. And just to tell you what room I'm in, I'm in room, this is room 253. And for everybody that needs some good cold AC, that air con right there is kicking. I mean, it's been on for like 5 or 10 minutes and... It's cold in here, my friends. So I really, I really like this feature right here. Got this nice big desk, er desk area where you can get your business done. Some plugs right there. And the view right here, I'm on the second floor, but I'm actually, looks like ground level. And you can actually open up these windows here if you choose to get some fresh air. I do like that feature as well. Um, and got a phone in the room to call, call room service, all the controls here by the bed for the lighting. And it looks like you can smoke in these rooms, evidenced by the fact they're providing you with ashtrays and uh, matches. But the room, to, uh, to be honest, I don't smell any smoke in here. I don't think anybody's ever smoked in this particular room. But that's a look around. It's the Nana, the Nana Hotel Bangkok, right here in the middle of the action, across from Nana Plaza. And obviously, I'm going to give you a walk through, a walk around this spot. But the room itself is clean. And if you get one of these newly renovated rooms, it's obviously modern. And so far, I'm digging it. But that's a look around this particular room, room 253. If you're interested, put in a request, stay in the same room that the king stayed in. Just one more view. I got the curtains closed now. So they're, they're the blackout curtains. So if you're a light sleeper, need some darkness in here, uh, you do get that feature right there, no problem. Folks, when you check in here, they're going to give you a coupon for one free drink down in the, the bar area, the coffee shop area. So you do get a free drink coupon. And this is a free breakfast. So you get a complimentary breakfast. Is this for one or two? I think this is for two. I'm, I'm here for two days, so I got two different coupons. But you do get a free drink, free breakfast. What a great time to go back to drinking. 
because I'm not prepared to turn down that free drink. The other pretty cool thing, if you're new to Thailand, you don't speak Thai, they give you this little card right here. You just give that to the taxi. Please drive me to Nana Hotel. And it's written in Thai. But folks, everybody, you got some stuff written in Japanese, whatever. Everybody knows where Nana Plaza is. So if you stay here, all you got to do is tell the, the driver Nana Plaza. They know Nana Plaza. And most of them know the Nana Hotel. But if they don't, just tell them Nana Plaza. They know where to bring you. All right, let me take you for a walk around. All right, so here's a look around the hallway. That's my room right there. So the second floor, looks like these rooms are renovated. I think it's the higher floors that are not renovated. Look around here. All right, ah, let's go to the go to the elevators here, my friend. Look at that. What's up, people? It's my lucky day. Going down. Boy. <laughs> oh no, you can go. Okay, cop, cop. I just mess these ladies up, folks. So the swimming pool is on third floor, and I'm going up after all. I just hijacked their elevator. I wasn't paying attention because I'm running this camera. They told me to go ahead and go because they're nice, but I'm taking a ride anyhow. All right, so I'm off at the third floor. I'm gonna show you around the swimming pool first. The swimming pool is this way. You want to take the stairs? We come to the swimming pool. Come in here and check this out. Until guests on. All right. This is a nice look around here, folks. Oh yeah, I got a nice little pool here. Take a photo of the pool. Yeah, so it's a nice pool area. That's the JW Marriott. If anybody's interested in staying at the JW Marriott. But anyhow, that's a look around the pool. And it looks like you can get towels out here. Nice little seating area. So, folks, so far, and last time I wasn't at the pool, so but so far I'm digging it. And the hours are from eight to seven. Gotta have a bathing suit only. But my buddy said that he did remember people on a go to complaining that the pool closed too early. But those are the hours. All right, back down to the lobby. A little small elevator here. Okay, I don't know if I got off. Yeah, I'm at the right spot. All right, so this is a look around. I don't know, maybe I was on the service elevators. I don't know. All right, but let's look around. So we got the, we got some tours. We got a, a tour service right here. Looks like you can book Noak Air. And over back here, we do have a jewelry store. Place where you can get some suits made. There's also a dental clinic back here, my friends. So if you need to get a uh, need to get some dental work done, boom, right here. I'm not sure what's in the back. Looks like we got a bar, and we do have a barber shop and a traditional Thai massage. So that's good to know. We got a barber shop open from 09 to 8 p.m. right here. And this gentleman's working security. I'm not gonna ask about the uh, guest policy, you know, if you're bringing your girlfriend, if you're bringing a uh, chick back to the room. I gotta find out. But this is the lobby. This is the check-in area right here. And when you walk out, you drop your key in that hole right there. 
but they don't want you taking your key out. Looks like we got some computers over there. And for reference, you can walk right through the Hooters. This is the Hooters right over there. And then this little area right here is where you get your free drink. It's got a coffee shop, whatever. But Hooters is right there on the other side of this wall. And this is where the taxi is going to drop you off right here. I'll take you out and show you. Then i got to go talk to these folks. And you'll also have taxi and minibus service. But the taxi is going to drop you off right here. And again, that's, that's Nana Plaza. And then right here on the corner is Hooters. So you also have this outside seating area. So if you want to get your free drink, sit outside. It's just a beautiful day. Well, I'll take you for a walk around. But this is the Nana Hotel, Bangkok, right across from the Nana Plaza, basically right above the Hooters. And the check-in the check-in process was awesome. It took me literally a minute to get checked in. Everybody's friendly. So just come right over here and check in. Yeah, so they do have two computers over here you can use. And you know what? What a bonus. They got luggage scales right here. So before you roll out on your flight, you can make sure you're not over your baggage limit. All right, so we're walking out towards the Hooters here, folks. I don't even know what time it is. It's like, what, 4 o'clock? I mean, it's a calm before the storm. All right, but this is a look around. Little drinking spots over here. And I'm going to go get me a perch right up there in the Hooters and get me something to eat. Because I haven't ate anything all day. But right there, so there's the Hooters. There's Hillary 4, KNS Bar. That's the entrance to Nana. Big dogs stumbling. What was that? Morning and night. All right, folks, let me, let me get one more plug out to the Nana Hotel, right? If you're one of them particular dudes, okay, check it out. I just took a fucking shower. And that shower in there, the fucking water pressure is on time. The minute I hit it, the water was hot. The fucking water pressure. Look, I'm used to either throwing a pail of cold water over my head. Most of the time I take a cold shower. I'm here in Southeast Asia. But when I got in the shower right here, I thought I was in a fucking Hilton in Atlanta, Georgia. The water pressure is fucking strong and the water was hot. So all you folks that are worried about the water pressure you know, you're coming from the west and you can't deal with the little cold water or the trickle. Folks, here at the fucking Nana Hotel, that shower is just like a shower in the west. God damn, that's, that's probably the, the most western style shower I've took in fucking years. So, water pressure on time. Hot water on time. Just another reason to stay here at the Nana Hotel. I gotta give them credit where credit is due. And that's all I got to say about that.